78 season, the Yanks were 14 back of the Red Sox at one point. Went into a September series at Fenway, down just four games, and this is called the Boston Massacre. Oh, the humanity! The Yankees sweep, outscored the Red Sox 42 to 9 in the four games, and they left town. Oh, the misery! Jason Veritek, who shoved his glove in Rodriguez's face, which sparked a bench clearing brawl. Yeah, I mean, the Red Sox would go on to it. History is not a line, nor is it a circle. It is a cycle, a wave, upon which ride the games men play. The faces change, but the patterns repeat. Over time, fortunes will shift. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and there's a shot! It's all over the Red Sox! I'm still breathing! Some men will rise to occasions. Deep to left! There hasn't been a bigger swing in a long time. Others will fall to them. I mean, what can I say? Just took my heart and called the Yankees my daddy. And thusly, seminal moments are made. It's over! And the Yankees have won the pennant! Peaks become valleys. Pop that! That might be it! He'll squeeze it and it's over! Entire eras are claimed. A big time home run from Bernie Williams! And then lost. The biggest comeback in postseason baseball history. This process is reflected in every area of endeavor where rival forces are engaged. And they have a fight! And the fight is empty. Those in the fight owe thanks to their foes for inspiring the best effort one can give. Oh, what a play by Derek Jeter! Competitors must seize the present day. They compete in and for the moment. Oh, what a shot by Stanton! No past to consider. There is only today. And for the loser, no tomorrow. In the sweep of time, nothing is forever. But in the heat of battle, everything is now.